Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. This is episode six of Design Build Launch. Today, we're gonna to make a mobily responsive website. So in the last video, we finished our design and we have everything set up for the desktop version of our website. So in today's video, we're gonna make this mobily responsive. So here back in the designer, we have these devices up at the top and these are going to be our breakpoints. So we have one for tablet, one for the mobile device on landscape and one for the mobile device in portrait mode. And right now our design is breaking completely. All of our content is off of the screen. So we need to make adjustments starting with the tablet all the way down to the mobile. We want to start with the tablet first. That way the adjustments we make here cascade downward. That way when we go to the mobile, we won't have to make all the adjustments again. It will inherit the ones from tablet and the ones we set for landscape and so on. That way it saves us time. So we start with tablet. So here in the tablet view, the first thing we need to do is select our content container up here at the top in the navigator. We have this set to a max width of 110 pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a percentage and set it to 100%. That makes this 100% of the viewport. And so now we need to adjust the padding on the left and the right. We're going to remove the padding over here of 300 pixels. That way we shift the content back to center alignment. So I'm going to set that to 60 on the left and then I'll also set that to 60 pixels on the right. So now our entire design has 60 pixel space on each side throughout like that. Moving down to the next thing here, we have the navigation. And the navigation on our desktop site looks great, but since we've shifted our content back over to a center alignment, we no longer have that space over here. And so I'm actually just going to select in display, a display of none. So this is going to hide that element completely since we no longer need that navigation here. So from tablet down, we will have no navigation to auto scroll since we'll be swiping anyway, that works fine. Since we've hid our navigation for our hero section, we can now remove the negative padding. Since that navigation is no longer there, it's no longer pushing it down. So we're going to set that to zero pixels. And then the padding up at the top, we can leave it 58. You can set that to 60 if you'd like, whatever you would like for the top spacing there. If we keep scrolling through our design to see if anything is broken, it looks like this section is going to work perfectly with having our headings on the left still and our body text on the right. So we're gonna leave the skill sections alone. Down here at the projects, I'm not liking the 60 to 70 pixel gap here with that 60 on the side. So we're gonna shrink that down. So inside of the project section, I'm gonna select the grid and I'm gonna hit edit grid and shrink the gap down to 30 pixels for the column and 30 pixels for the rows. And then we'll just select done. So that's looking pretty good. Keeping going down here, the about section still looks okay. For the footer, everything is looking good as well. We can drag this manually to see the adjustments automatically. So I'm just going to take a quick glance here and make sure everything looks okay from the widest the tablet view can be down to the smallest here. So everything is still looking good here at the smallest point. So let's go to the landscape view. So here in the landscape view, I think I wanna make the most changes here. Uh, just because this is where everything that we set up in the tablet version is starting to break and look pretty bad. So the first thing I wanna do is select that content container again, and we have that set to 60 on the left and right for the padding. So I'm gonna bump that down to 40, just to give us some more room for our content to have. Then with these grids, I wanna start moving these to one column. So I'm gonna to select to edit the grid, and then I'm just going to right click on the 0.75 there and delete the column so that we have them all stacked on top of each other like this. And once we have these stacked on top of each other, they don't look great because they're all spaced out equally. So it's kind of hard to tell what heading goes with what body. So let's shrink the space down here to about 20 pixels and then we'll hit done. And then to add some space between each of these sections, I'm gonna select the paragraph and over here in the padding at the bottom for the margin, let's set that to 60. Yes, yeah, so that gives us a lot of space there, which separates those nicely. So that section now looks good stacked on top of each other like that. So we need to do the same thing with this grid down here. So in the project section, I'm going to edit the grid and I'm going to delete one of the columns so that they are now full width like that. We can just hit done and see what we have. So we see we have some of these cards overlapping. That's okay, we'll fix those. So here in the grid, we have that negative 60 margin. I'm going to reset that to zero. 
And then on the cards that have the right card effect added, I'm going to set the top 60 pixel margin to zero, and that should eliminate all of this overlap. So if we scroll down, we have nothing overlapping, which looks good. Scrolling down to the about section, we need to do the same thing here. I'm going to edit the grid and remove the column by deleting it, select done. And here I don't think we need to play with any of the spacing or add any because that looks pretty good there. So we'll keep scrolling on down to the footer. For the footer, we have this H2 here. And I want to set this to 100% width because it's currently at 53. I'm gonna select the image and I'm going to set that to display of none since we don't need that here. It's kind of just overlapping all of our content. And then I want to make these cards full width and stacked on top of each other as well. So I'm gonna select the small card group and then I'm going to change this from a horizontal to vertical flex. Then I'm going to center them and then I'm gonna select one of the cards, so card small, and we'll change that from a pixel width to 100%. And for the margin we have on the top of these, we have that set to 80. Let's try 40 on that. So that changes the distance between these when they're stacked on top of each other, but we still need this away from that link. So I'm gonna grab that small card group and add some padding on the top. Let's try something like 60 pixels just to separate those two, that looks pretty good. And then we have some kind of padding because these are not exactly center, so we'll grab one of the cards again and we'll remove that margin on the right side. I'm not really liking the height of this section now, it's a little bit too small. This card's right at the bottom, so I wanna give that some breathing room. So I'm gonna grab the footer section and I'm gonna bump this up from 1000 to 1200. And since we've done that, we're gonna have to grab the footer BG element we have in the background and set both of its height to 1200 and its negative margin to 1200. And that will fix its alignment right there. So if we preview this now, this is looking pretty good. It's up to you what you would like to ultimately change here, but I'm happy with what we have. I like these cards stacked on top of each other, and I think all of this is looking relatively good for a landscape phone. So let's go ahead and adjust for the portrait now. So let's go swap over there. And we're definitely gonna have to change a little bit here, such as the heading text. Cards are looking okay. We might hide that image. So let's go back up to the top and we'll start with the hero section. We definitely need to shrink this down. So I'm gonna grab that text and drop that down from 60 to 40 pixels. And with that, we'll need to shrink the line height. So. I think we had 130, so we'll do 40 times 1.3 to give us 52 for the line height. And then you can even push this margin down on the top to kind of center that a little bit better. Maybe something like 160 looks good. I still want this text to be sitting here at the bottom. So I'm gonna scroll down. This H2 is pretty large now, so we're gonna drop that from 32 to 26. And the line height there, 26 times 1.3. Then we need to drop the H3s down since we're dropping all of our headings. So from 24 to 20. On these, the line height doesn't really matter, but we'll go ahead and set it to 26. Then we need to drop the paragraph normal down. We'll just drop that down to 16. And then I believe we had 1.5 on these. So we'll set that to 16 and 24 for the line height. For these card headings, we'll drop those down to 20. So we're just going through and adjusting all of the text in this design to make sure that it is now at a good size. Our links are at 16, we'll go ahead and leave those. And we'll just check the footer here. Let's drop these H4s down to 16. We'll drop their paragraph text down to 14 to make those a bit smaller. Adjust that line height, 14 times 1.5. And then I think I want to increase this footer's height just one more time. So I'm gonna select the footer, and then I'm going to go and bump that up from 1200 to something like 1400 to give us some more space. And we'll grab the background element there, and we'll set that to 1400, and then negative 1400 for the margin on the top. I kind of like how these images are shifting over. That looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave that. You, however, can adjust that to your liking. You can adjust the size of that, make it even smaller, 
um, move it around with the positioning. Same thing goes with this image here in the background. I'm actually just going to hide that one if I can find it here. Image two, there we go. And we'll just display of none. And then I've done that with the footer already. But for this one up here in the hero, it look kind of blank without it. Uh, but like I said, you can adjust that how you would like. Uh, for me, I'm just going to leave that and let's go ahead and go to the live preview. And we can see that when we shrink this down, everything is adjusting to all of the adjustments that we just set to make this completely responsive. So this should look good no matter what device it is viewed on. So that is going to do it for making our website responsive. In the next video, we're gonna add some SEO to this and we're going to launch our website by doing some other document settings adjustments. So I will see you guys in that next episode. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. 